Hey everybody, Dave here. Um, just coming to you with a video today. I just purchased a new product and um, this is sort of a uh, an unboxing, a little bit of review, initial impressions video. Um, and that is of the Henry US Survival Rifle, believe it or not. You know, I, I've, I've had a 12 gauge for, for deer hunting and for turkey hunting for a while. And um, I have a, a 45 long cold I use for, you know, for backpacking and bear country and that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, I've kind of had a growing desire to get a, a 22 rifle for small game hunting. After doing some research, I discovered this rifle and uh, read a bunch of reviews on it. Again, I, and I'm not a firearms expert. I'll be honest with you, you know, as I unbox this, this is the first time I'm un unboxing this gun. Um, I've never shot this gun. Um, all I know about it is from what I've seen from the YouTube community along with other reviews that I've read online. But uh, what I thought I would do today anyways is kind of unbox it, um, show you some of the components, how I got it. And I'm at the range, so do a little test fire of it and see how she does. Um, and hopefully maybe add to uh, inspire some other people to, to, to check out this, this gun. I think it... From all that I've read, it looks like a pretty decent um, firearm. A um, couple reasons why I purchased this one. First of all, this is the entire rifle. Um, in fact, you, you know you're going to see in a bit how it all packs into the butt of the of the gun. It's very lightweight. It's kind of intended to be a sort of gun that you could put in a backpack. It's not very heavy. Um, all the reviews say it's it's fairly accurate and it's a you know quality weapon. One review I saw on YouTube, the guy the guy took it through a swamp and fired it afterwards and it fired great but um wanted something i could do a little small game squirrel hunting you know with um i also wanted something that i could come out here and, and target practice you know with without sinking a lot of money um and my eyes were really opened up to this like i said i, I have a shotgun and a 45 um and, and those are about a buck around and so 50 rounds is about 50 bucks um about throw out well, I've got 50 rounds of the 45 for for 30 before but you know for for thirty dollars I can have 500 rounds of 22 long rifle ammunition um, so bought it for small game hunting bought it to practice marksmanship without sinking the budget bought it to fit in my backpack but I also bought it because um, you know, I have a daughter that has a growing interest in, in learning how to hunt and it's light enough and small enough uh, that I could begin to teach her responsible use you know gun use um, get her trained up and and uh, see where she goes with it it was not a lot of money i paid uh, 229 dollars i think for it but anyways so let's get to the unboxing and and uh, get to firing this thing and have at it all right so here's the box again i've never opened this i just got this so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna talk a little bit about some initial impressions about it here's the gun in the box. Let's see here. A little manual. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll read that later. Cleaning, about cleaning, and all that stuff. Good. And this thing will float in water. I, I've seen it float in water in videos. I haven't tested it, obviously, but the butt takes a little bit to open up because of its uh, the seal that's on there. Okay, now once I've opened it up, there are all the components to the gun right in there. Here's the barrel. Here's the receiver. And it comes with two clips. Now, what I'm told, or what I've, what I've read on here is that um, it'll actually hold three because you can just, you can keep one clip in the receiver and then use those two extra storage spaces. So, all right, that's empty. I'm gonna put this butt back on properly this time. And let, let's assemble it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, mount the receiver into the stock of the gun. And to do that, there's a little slot there, and if you can see. Um, if you can see that or not, there's a little screw in there. That screw matches up with this part on the receiver. And uh, there it is on the, on the stock again. So 
I'm gonna do is just insert that. So they really match up. I'm gonna make it tight. Again, I'm just going by what I've read and seen online. I wanna make sure it's tight, but I don't wanna over tighten it, okay? You know, it's interesting, safety was off. I want it to be safe, so I'll pull the safety back on. Okay, now as far as the barrel is concerned, it has a little notch right here. And that notch matches up with this guy right here. So you can put, you know, you really can't put the barrel on wrong, but it, it goes in there. Now there's a little bit of a pushback from the bolt. What you do is you push that on and you, uh, Tighten her down. Again, tight, but don't strip the threads. What's kind of neat about this too, I saw, is that the the uh, I guess the pull pin for the for the receiver on the or the bolt actually comes in and out like this, it, so that it's for storage for storage purposes. Um, so once I once I load a magazine up, each one of these magazine holds eight rounds. You can get ones that holds ten that hold ten, um, but the standard ones that come with them come with the gun hold eight. So you can see Henry R. Survival. Now the release on the on the magazine is actually uh, right here. You can see that the magazine doesn't just drop out when you push that forward. You have to actually push that forward and pull it out. So. Um, now it's a Teflon coated, the gun's Teflon coated. All the metal and working parts here are, are all Teflon coated for um, for durability sake. You know, it does have a little rail here where you can add a scope. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet or not. And the side of the gun, if you can see that, this is a yep, 22 long rifle only. It's all Teflon coated. Oh, this is interesting. This is a this is the front sight. That's all plastic. I think it'll adjust for windage, but or but I'm not sure how how tight that'll hold. It's not really. It doesn't. I can't see how it's secured in there. It just looks like it's. I mean, I can feel it's kind of there's a pressure to it from pushing it from either side. But I'll have to experiment with that again. It's the first time I'm using this safety mechanism right there back is safe front to kill and one thing I will say about this um, one thing that's interesting I'll have to take this apart to, to show you one of the neat things I did see about it is the sights and in order to really show you this I have to take this receiver off here now I took I took the gun apart. Um, I took the receiver off the, the stock of the gun because I wanted to show you this. It's got the front sight up there. Um, on the back here, the, the rear sight is actually something that's kind of interesting. Um, on the rear sight, it's kind of this, this metal plate. Uh, the screw can be loosened to adjust for elevation. But you can also flip and choose between two different size holes to look through. Um, and so you can look through that hole or you can unscrew this screw, flip this plate around, and uh, look through that tiny hole. Uh, now again, I'm I'm not an expert marksman. I'm not a gun, you know, a super gun nut or uh, what have you. So I'm going to use a big one for now just to test this out. But um, that's pretty much it. I think what I'm going to do now is just put it together, uh, load it up, and, and send some rounds through it down the range and see... Uh, see what we got here in terms of its firing capability. Again, I'm not an I'm not an expert marksman. I bought the gun for small game using to teach my daughter responsible gun use. Um, also, for, you know, for backpacking, it's really lightweight. I mean, the thing only weighs probably two pounds or two or three pounds, something like that. I'll have to double check, but it, it's super lightweight, um, and, and it's really really looks like a durable gun. I'm really excited about it. You know, the my only initial reaction to it at this point is because it's so light. It, you know, things things to me that are light feel like you know they might be low quality um, but 
you know, having said that, I mean, the, the overwhelmingly the reviews I, I see online have been have been positive. So I'm going to set up some targets, load it up, and let you get a little shot of me firing it here. One thing I, you know, anybody watches this, um, I do use your your protection whenever I'm at the range. Even though uh, today it's really peaceful and I'm shooting a 22, um, I, you know, I still think it's important to protect your ears. Today I'm going to be using these. This is the Remington uh, 22 Golden Bullet HP rim fire cartridges, 22 long rifle. I'll go ahead and load up the magazine here and give it a shot. My hands are cold. It's 20 degrees out. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Okay, okay. Check the safety. Safety's on. You know, I always check my guns too beforehand. Pull back. I want to look inside the receiver, make sure there's nothing in there. Make sure I put the magazine in. I'm ready to go. All right, so that was my that was my first time ever firing it at um, at 25 yards, and uh, <laughs> it fires nice. I think I need some uh, work to. In all honesty, it's been 13 years since I fired a 22, um, so I'm actually kind of happy with that little pattern at 25 yards. Now I need some work to do. For my, I mean, I, I have some work to do. Uh, my initial impression, though, is that I'm probably going to want to go with that smaller sight for now or get a small scope to go with it. Ah, much better that time. Huh, that's pretty good. Well, good for me, I guess. All right, um, that's 16 rounds for this thing. First set was my very first try. Second set. Again, I've never shot this rifle before. We're gonna go look at these uh, patterns. Basically shot two rounds, two sets of rounds through this. And this is at 25 yards, so. There's the first pattern. Now, that was just unboxing it, putting it together. I've never, again, I've never shot this thing before. Um, that's the second pattern. Now I know it's only 25 yards, but for someone like me who is a total noob and like knows nothing about guns, very little about guns, I'm pretty proud of that pattern right there. <laughs> now I just need to get that to be a little bit longer, maybe 50 or 100 yards, get that same pattern out that far. But um, I think for small game hunting, you know, hunting squirrel, rabbit, 
you know, whatever. I think that's going to be not too bad, not too bad at all. So overall, you know, my initial impression of the thing is, is it, it looks like a really uh, decent rifle. Again, time will tell. I've heard a lot of good things about them, but, um, you know, there's always that one in the bunch that you miss and, and uh, you get some bad experiences on. Initial impression, though, looks like a decent gun. Uh, it's lightweight. Uh, it's waterproof. When it's in the when it's in the stock, it assembles easy, takes down easy. Yeah, I think it was a good purchase. Anyways, that's that's my little unboxing, initial impression, and you know whatever re review I guess you call it of this Henry uh, U.S. Survival Rifle, 22 long rifle. Anyways, thank you so much for your support, for your views, your subscriptions, for comments, especially I love the constructive comments you all give. Um, helps me to learn. I think it helps all of us to learn. And uh, it's kind of one of the reasons why I do this, not only to dive in and do it, but to also learn from all of you who have way more experience than I am, than I do. Um, I'm not a marksman, but I, I think that this is going to be a good gun to use, a good gun to have on hand for small game and that sort of thing. Okay, so now that I'm done with it, I'm going to show you how to take it apart and put it back in the stock of the gun. So first of all, um, you know, making sure the safety's on. Obviously, I just want to pull back the bolt and check in the receiver, make sure it's empty, and it is. Okay. You can either leave the magazine in or take it out. To take it out, you push forward on the, on the trigger area, and it just pops right out. Um, apparently. After test firing it that first time, it made it, you know, pop out like that pretty easy. So, okay. <clears throat> Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the barrel of the gun. Just by turning this guy here. This also makes for easy cleaning. I'm going to check down the barrel. And looking down that barrel, you know, I can already see that uh, it's going to need a good cleaning once I get home. So, take the receiver off. There's a screw on the bottom of this stock here. And I just did it tight. You don't want it too tight, but uh, tight enough so it's snug. So I unscrew that. And I'll pull on the receiver. Keep that in my hand so it doesn't flop out on the icy ground. The stock comes off. And there's the receiver. So now I've got my receiver, got my two clips, and my barrel. I'm going to put in the back of the gun here to do that. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of elbow grease because they designed this so that when everything's in here, it can be submerged in water at least a little bit and uh, it, everything will stay dry. I've seen videos where people have done that. I'm not going to do it. Um, but everyone that's done it and I've, that has reviewed it has said that it works. So now you can see there's a little notch in the top there. That's for the front side of the barrel to go in. You see two little slots here and here. That's for the magazines. Receiver, front of the receiver goes in first, I do believe. Just like that. The butt goes back on the gun. And it's all set. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your comments and subscriptions. Especially if you own this gun, you know somebody who owns this gun, let me know what their impressions are of it. I think it looks like a great gun for the most part right now. Uh, the only thing I would say, and this is just because of who I am, the fact that it's light, it feels you know, it feels not so well constructed because it's light. Um, but then again, it's made of ABS plastic. It's really strong plastic, but it, um, but it's designed that way so that you can, so it's easy to transport. It's a survival rifle. So um, we'll see you next time.